In order to understand why I would make a video about bugs, I think we have to go back. Back in time, back when my husband and I first moved into the RV. That might not have been an exact reenactment of our first bug infestation, but it was pretty close. Meet Holly's enemy number five, the weevil. These pesky pantry pests invaded all of our food when we first moved in. This isn't uncommon, but it's still annoying. The solution? We put our flour and cereal and rice and whatever we thought they might like to eat in plastic snap top containers. The cheap ones are also super light since we do travel in our travel trailer. Holly's enemy number four, spiders. Encounters with our eight-legged friends occur mainly outside. Prolific web builders, they can cover our bikes and trailer almost overnight. We simply use a brush to remove the webs and evict the occupants. Annoying, yes, but in my heart, I know spiders are good bugs, so they are allowed to live outside. But death to all who enter my trailer. Meet my three enemies, number three, mosquitoes, wasps, and fruit flies. We only encounter mosquitoes when camping. Citronella candles work for us, but Facebook groups swear by Thermosel and Cutter Garden Spray. At the RV park, mosquitoes are fogged to death. Wasps are tricky tricksters. We've purchased and installed some insect screens on the trailer, but if we cover one area, they find another that we've never even considered as a potential problem. How about under the cover of a spare tire? Or the inside of our bicycle shocks? Or what about the electrical hookup box? Doesn't he look happy with his new home? Fruit flies are our indoor nemesis, but turns out these aren't actually fruit flies, but sewer flies. Gross. Before we figured this out, we tried all the stuff on the internet. We got rid of all of our fruit, set up traps, I even learned Kung Fu. But we finally solved the problem. We put a citrus scented chemical in our gray tank. Evidently this was our breeding ground. And if this doesn't work, at least the flies will smell good. Holly's enemy number two, ants specifically little black ants, but I shall rename them Houdini ants because they show up and disappear. First they're in the bedroom, then the kitchen, then the bathroom. Houdini ants are too small to have an effect on us big old humans, other than being a complete nuisance. Whenever they reappear, I set out some Terra liquid bait. They love this stuff, and they take it back to wherever they came from. And finally meet Holly's enemy number one, the German cockroach. This bug always wants to hang out with me and won't take a hint. We are not friends. Just watch what happened the other morning. German cockroaches thrive in high heat and humidity, which is Houston, where I live. So they're here and I have to deal with them. But they seem like they have superpowers. I've seen them walk up the side of a trailer and, you know, on the fiberglass, but I don't want them inside of the trailer. They can transmit diseases and pathogens to humans. So here are five things that I've done to prevent roaches in my trailer. Tip number one, kill all who dare enter. This can be done in a few different ways. Some suggest sprinkling diatomaceous earth around any point where your RV contacts the ground, but this has to be reapplied every time it rains, which is quite often in Houston. So I don't use this method. Instead, we put out bait traps. We also spray the inside of cabinets and the undercarriage of the trailer. 
and squish any and all creepy crawlies we see. Tip number two, don't leave food on your dishes or let them soak overnight. Here's a link to another video I made about doing dishes in an RV. Tip number three, seal up all of the gaps and the cracks in the RV. This is not going to be easy. Tip number four, put all of your food in plastic bags or plastic containers. We did this with the weevils and it really made a difference. And finally, tip number five, take your trash out each and every night. I didn't want to do this right away because I felt like I was wasting plastic bags, but the roaches come out at night and they will get in your trash. So sorry, planet. watching. I'm still trying to work the bugs out of my YouTube videos. <laughs> like and subscribe. Bye. Oh, why dost thou invade my home? Be gone, or thou shalt get squished.